every morning in Africa, a gazelle wakes up and it knows that it needs to learn faster than the fastest lion, otherwise it will get killed. Every morning in Africa, a lion wakes up and it, needs, it knows that it needs to learn faster than the slowest gazelle, otherwise it will die from hunger. So what's the moral of the story? If the sun comes up, you better be running. The same in business. If you are busy growing your business, you're climbing the ladder to be number one, or you are number one, you cannot afford to slow down. You have to keep on innovating, have a strategy, have a marketing plan, have people around you that can help you. You just cannot stop. So one of the things that we thought to, to discuss today is those small little things that you can do to keep ahead of your game. And one of the things is that we want to talk about today is branding. And we want to use a practical example of what happened this year with Kathleen. Mm. So tell us please. I certainly will do that. I think just, just to mention, branding is so important. You were talking about the lion and the gazelle. And if you think about it, it doesn't matter how big or how successful a company is, they can be at the top of their game they don't stop with their branding. And small businesses need to do the same. And what we were saying is we were going to give you some strategies that won't cost you anything to do, that really have been a game changer for us in many ways. And one of the things that we started on is actively managing our brands on social media. And sort of being Generation Xs, it was, a, it was a really strange process to go through in the beginning because we haven't grown up with mobile phones, never mind social media. And so we, we really weren't doing much on Facebook. We kind of had LinkedIn accounts, but we really weren't using them in a productive way. And what our coaches had originally said to us is that it's incredibly important to have a personal brand and a professional brand. And so we've been really diligent at posting regularly and being strategic, so not just posting for the sake of posting, but posting things that we were genuinely interested in. And a really unexpected aspect is that we actually started posting about our running because we were enjoying it. And that's actually become quite an important part of, of our branding. So I've probably over the last 14 to 12, uh, 12 to 14 months really being quite proactive in a particular space that I'm interested in. I've been sharing opinions, I've been sharing articles, and really just working quite hard to provide value in that space and to share where I think the market is going within the hearing aid world. Um, and it's been slow and consistent, and there have been times where I've wondered if anybody was reading any of the posts at all. And I recently attended a conference where there were a couple of people who came up to me and said, oh, I know your name, I've actually been following you on social media. Now, a lot of the people that came up to me and made that comment, I didn't know. I wouldn't have even thought that they were connected to me on social media. And one of the things it really taught me was that you don't actually know your reach. It's really hard to measure the impact you are having on social media. But if you're working at it slowly and consistently, you're probably reaching people you didn't think possible. One of the other presenters at the conference is somebody that I have sort of, I guess you could call it networked with on LinkedIn. Uh, and we, we have, we've had some sort of interesting conversations about various topics on LinkedIn, but have never really spoken to each other on any other forum. And it was lovely to be able to put a name to the face and, and meet him at, at that conference because it felt like we'd known each other. And I think one of the things small businesses underestimate is the power of networking on social media. And the great thing is, it doesn't cost you anything to do to do it. So yes, it's important to network locally and 
meet other local professionals, but your reach on social media is absolutely incredible. Key, of course, is that you have to do it consistently and you have to do it strategically. But I do believe that it makes a huge difference in terms of how we can do business as small business owners. But I think it's important as well to manage your brand. Yes. You can't afford that somebody else manage it for you. Um, so I think the days of, of where you go to the beach and sit with a bee in the hand and mm -hmm. you cannot post those things, you should. Mm -hmm. it, it's just a bad reputation for you. So you need to manage your brand. And what you've done is you actually got international exposure now. Yes. Not only locally anymore. Um, so we didn't even expect that to happen. No, no, yeah. not at all. And I think you're right, people often say to me, oh, but I use social media to catch up with my friends, keep in touch with my family. And I think originally that was really what social media like Facebook was designed to do. But the reality is these days that people are going to look at your social media presence and you might be presenting yourself one way in business and another way in your personal life and the reality is they're going to look at everything and then say well this is what I'm seeing in business but that's actually who I'm dealing with so it's really important that your image or I shouldn't say image because it's, it's an authentic brand that you're working on but it's important that your brand's consistent but, but also when you have a brand you get credibility when you get credibility you get power to, to send out your message. When you do that, you start to get access to people that you never had before. And it can be in local governments, it can be associations. And when you get there, then you start to become the authority. And people will come to you to ask for advice. So branding is so important because that's your first step in getting your credibility and work towards that authority that people come to you to ask for advice. I think people often think of social media as being a platform on which you can sort of betray whatever you want to portray. But I think people see through that really quickly. Yeah. If you and I were suddenly picture, you know, posting pictures of us working out in the gym, people would definitely think, well, that's not authentic. That's, that's not who we know them definitely to be. Not authentic. No, so, <laughs> you know, I think, again, it has to be strategic. It has to be authentic. But it is an incredibly powerful way of doing business and being able to reach an audience that you would never have thought possible in a way that's very affordable. That was one small thing that we changed would be a huge effect on our business and how people know us and how people see us as a, as a couple yes. and also as a business. I think if you want more information or have some so some um, questions for us, please go to, to our Facebook page or to um, our website, vitalscienceconsulting.com.au. Leave us a message and we will get back to you.